What's up? This is Jacob's Tutorials, and today I'm going to show you how to get rid of viruses on Windows Registry Editor. Now, first off, I want to say be careful, because if you delete the wrong thing, you know, um, you can really screw up your computer. Also, if you're looking for a good screen recording software, I recommend using Screencast O Matic. Don't download Big Cam or whatever the, whatever it's called, um, Camcorder. I, I can't remember the name of it. Um, it gave me a virus, this virus earlier today. Um, yeah, just don't trust it. So right now I'm just removing the virus that I decided to make a video on how to do it. So first what you want to do is you want to open up command prompt. This is from Windows, by the way. You want to look up and you want to um, want to type in REGEDT32, okay? And what that will pull up is a, um, do you, are you sure you want to allow Microsoft Corporation to make changes to your computer? Obviously, yes, because, like, they made the computer. They made the operating system, I mean, so, you know, say yes. And what that will pull up is this. And now, what this is, is this, um, this is, like, <sighs> Windows works by just running and reading all these registries. So, um, you know, if you delete the wrong thing, something can happen, and, you know, bad stuff can happen. But what you want to do first is, um, in order to find the virus, you need to know what started popping up. If it's adware, it'll be easy to find. Mine was Pluto and Weatherbug. I already deleted a couple things, but, you know, I'm, I think there's still more. So, you do find, alright, and you type in whatever the virus name is. Mine was Pluto, because Pluto downloaded and say find next well in here you're gonna see the store here's the binary let me see you double click on it it's roaming Pluto you know um, you can delete it if you want to I'm not gonna delete that um, I don't think I need to it's fine um, let's see let's do it again because you, you could find a lot of them um, that's different, I, that's, I already deleted something, you just get it, um, keep looking, and delete whatever you have to, you know, um, you can even delete these folders, but you have to make sure there's nothing in there you don't want to be deleted, um, everything here should be deleted, it's fine, but, you know, I'm just saying, um, now, right now, it's just searching the registry, trying to find it. While it's doing that, I'm going to look up the what I used to, what I got the virus with. Um, let's see. I think it's Big Cam, maybe? Let me see. Um, what's the name of it? Freeze. Alright, now, on this top ten list, I found, let's see... I think it's this one. Let's see. No, it isn't. It isn't. Um, Easy Viz is actually a nice one. I don't use it, but it might be Cam Studio. It's Cam Studio, okay? Don't use Cam Studio. All right. Listen to this. This is. It looks fine, right? You know, it seems legit. Um, you know, this seems nice that he's asking, you know, but, um, you know, if you just, <sighs> don't download it, just don't do it, because it, it seems legit, but it isn't, it definitely is not, it gives you viruses and stuff, it asks you to agree to things, just don't get it, okay, just don't, use, use Screencast-O-Matic, it's a good one. Although it has a watermark down right about here. I'm going to pay soon. Get rid of that. Um, I think EasyVid's another good one that you can use. But still, it's searching the registry. What this tells me is that there's probably nothing left. Um, other than the binary. But I don't want to de delete the binary. Because maybe I might need it. You know, I just, I'm going to be careful with that. Um, you just got to be careful, you know, with this. You can. It's easier to use other things. It's easier to use... Um, normal, vast, maybe, AVG, whatever, but just be careful, okay, like, see, I have AVG, you know, but this is a very safe way, I mean, this is a very good way of doing it, although it can disrupt your computer, and, 
other things. So just be careful when you do it. I'd recommend if you're not too good with computers, you just use an AVG or like get a good antivirus and use that. Don't just go ahead and get in the registry and, you know, delete System32 or something. Just, you know, just be careful, right? Um, this tells me it's, there's no more, so that's good, all right? Oh, oh, so it stopped working, huh? All right, so um, it's just because, yeah, that's maybe there is more. It's just fine. Let's look, look it up again. Okay. Uh huh. All right. Now it's just searching through all these files, you know. Um, I think uh, I think we're good. You know, I think we're done. So thanks for watching. There's going to be a new upload in about 20 minutes. Um, and now I'm going to be explaining the difference between path ping and um, normal ping. Kind of just the basics of how the internet works. And then I also might be making one more video on like part two of the basic Linux introduction because I screwed up at the end and didn't didn't do something. I, I did the group ad something wrong. Um, I'll show you that later though. So... Thanks for watching. Please like, rate, and subscribe.